the show is starting. What else is in store for us here in the Impact Zone? I'll tell you what, we are going to start off with some fireworks. First round action in the Exhibition Championship Tournament. It's a first time ever match of Trey Miguel versus Alan Angels. You can see the X Factors here on this. Trey Miguel's been on quite the singles tear this year. His first exhibition title win came from winning the vacant title after Josh Alexander. Exercise option C last year. Can he do it again? Meanwhile, Alan Angels debuted here in this company following against all odds. Challenging then champion Mike Bailey. Will he see him later on in the tournament? He loves it so much, he got it tattooed on his leg after capturing it at last year's Bound for Glory event. Now, just about a year removed from that event. An event and a championship win that meant so much to Trey Miguel. He wants to get back to that mountaintop, and he has that opportunity in this championship tournament to do exactly that. Of course, this tournament coming along because Frankie Kazarian has relinquished the exhibition title to exercise option C at overdrive. His opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, Alan Angels. As I mentioned moments ago, we haven't seen Alan Angels since July. That night, he challenged then exhibition champion Mike Bailey in what was an absolute thriller since then. Alan Angels has been all over the country, all over the world, frankly, competing and has continued to make a name for himself. Imagine if he came back here and captured the vacant exhibition title. Yeah, his, his whole mission of Alan Angels the last several months has been to step out on his own, make his own path, forge his own name. And what a perfect way to do that by potentially winning this exhibition tournament. As I mentioned, Frankie Kazarian last week relinquished his exhibition championship. That means three weeks from tomorrow, live on Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube for Ultimate Insiders, Louisville, Kentucky at Overdrive. It'll be Kazarian versus Josh Alexander for the Impact World Championship. And how appropriate is that? I just love that story in and of itself. That last year, it was Josh Alexander who enacted option C against Christian Cage at Bound for Glory. And now, here we are a year later and Frankie Kazarian in a very similar situation and acting option C against Josh Alexander. It's a, it's a really interesting story. Frankie Kazarian has never captured the Impact World Championship, but this is about the X Division Championship, which of course remains vacant because of Kazarian's decision. So the choice made by the executive vice president of Impact Wrestling, Scott Moore, who just joined us on BTI moments ago. <laughs> that we're going to see the new exhibition champion crown oh come overdrive some fancy footwork and uh, fancy wrist work i guess do a lot of catches catch can wrestling to start this one out as the pace starts to pick up oh, roll up here shoulders down and a kick out by miguel and it was earlier tonight on bti hold on shoulders down and a kick out by angels we saw black tarus advance in first round action he defeated laredo kid in the process, so now it's Miguel one-on-one -on -one here with Angels. Oh, and Miguel caught on the top rope. Took just a little extra time setting that up. Angels took advantage. And that's all it took was a little trip up to make sure Miguel came crashing down. And could his X Division Championship hopes come crashing down with him oh. as Angels takes control? We hope you'll join us in Louisville, Kentucky next month as Impact Wrestling presents Overdrive, as I mentioned, live on Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube. Our Ultimate Insiders on Friday, November 18th, and on Saturday, November 19th, it's Kentucky Chaos. Tickets are on sale now at impactwrestling.com. Oh, and Trey caught in the ropes there by Angels, who tracked him down. Well, that just shows you how well Alan Angels has scouted his competition. That's a maneuver, that's a counter Trey does a lot, swinging through the ropes. You've seen him do it dozens and dozens of times. Angels anticipated it, knew it was coming, saw it, and kicked Miguel right out of the picture. 
Tosses Miguel back inside the ring. The X Division Championship Tournament bracket loaded with talent on this side of the bracket. Hold on. Northern Lights suplex to advance and a kick out. Alan Angels versus Trey Miguel here. The winner of this matchup faces the winner of Mike Bailey, the former X Division Champion, and Kenny King. That match will take place next week, as will next week on BTI, that is. Yuya Uemura and PJ Black will round out the first round action on the other side of the bracket. So much talent from all over the world of professional wrestling coming here to get a shot at the X Division Championship. That doesn't show you how respected Ooh. and sought after that title is. I don't know what does. Reverse sling blade to move on in the tournament and a kick out there by Miguel. Miguel continuing to show his resilience, which one of his defining characteristics in this company in his run here in Impact Wrestling. And it's starting to frustrate Angels. Now, Allen Angel's trying to stay on top of Spider Trey here. Trey Miguel gets given any opportunity to really get rolling can be so dangerous. And now look at this here by Allen Angel's trying to lock up Trey Miguel who gets to the ropes. Look at how Angel's beating him down. This is a vicious side of Angel's here. I was trying to set him up maybe for a backbreaker there. Miguel oh. obviously did his homework on Angel's just as Angel's did on Miguel. And spring. Oh! oh tip of the boot nearly knocked out Angels. And make no mistake, that tip of the boot, if it catches you upside the jaw, oh boy. Speaking from experience, that'll have you out <laughs> in your feet. Impact Wrestling's micro brawlers are on sale now, featuring Impact wrestlers such as Trey Miguel plus Chris Bay, Tasha Steels, and there's even a Team Canada edition of Bobby Roode. They're on sale now at shopimpact.com. Miguel here continuing the assault on the jaw of Allen Angels. Finding an opening now, getting some much needed offense. Yeah. On the stop right to the back. I see determination in the eyes there of Trey Miguel. This is a championship he's been chasing for months ever since losing it to Ace Austin earlier this year. Getting back to that mountain. Oh, oh my God! Running knee! Stands up and a kick out by Angels. Barely kicked out, but he's still in it. The velocity of those running knees from Miguel. I thought it was over. A lot of the people here in Vegas did too. Trey's going to the top rope here. Could be looking for that Meteora he's hit many times before. Well, went for it off the top rope there. Alan Angels rushes in, prevented by Miguel. Oh, takes away the footing. Once again, that's what he did earlier on in the matchup to take advantage, doing it once again, taking the feet out from Miguel, oh. and now compacting him in the corner here. Oh, DDT by Angels. Here's the cover. Shoulders down and a kick out by Miguel. This is a huge night of Impact Wrestling. We kicked off the broadcast learning that the Kingdom of Honor No More have been fired, so I cannot wait to see this sit-down interview that Gia Miller has with the leader of Honor No More, Eddie Edwards. We saw Honor No More implode last week. Meanwhile, in our main event, it's Vex and Giselle Shaw taking on Mickey James, Taylor Wilde, and the Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace. That six knockouts tag team match still to come. Hell of a night of action here on Impact oh. Wrestling. And it's kicked off in fine form. As I was talking about the aggression of Angels earlier, he just not too long ago there was spitting in the face of Trey Miguel telling, this is my title, my title. Oh, but Trey Miguel able to slip free. Oh, kick right in the face. Oh. Nowhere to go for Angels here, but down. Angels down hard. Trey Miguel up top. Meteor! Got him! Cover! Oh, and a kick out by Angels! And the look on Miguel's face says it all. He and everybody else here thought it was over. Angels stays alive. How many matches has Trey Miguel won with the Meteor? Numerous ones. And he thought this was one of them. But it keeps on going. And now Trey Miguel trying to take Angels away from the ropes. Oh! Angels able to draw him in close. Oh, and now Ooh. taken down to the canvas, and look at this by Alan Angels. A rare submission from Angels. Beautiful, almost 
flatlined him right into this submission float over. Oh, but whoa, whoa. down. Oh, I nearly had Angels. Great ability from Trey Miguel there to roll the submission back, reverse the pressure, get a pinning predicament. Uh-oh. Oh, Miguel, he was looking for that kick to the face. He, oh, oh, he normally does with the sole of the boat, and Angels had an answer for it. Once again, had Miguel scouted, Angels did his homework. Off the top oh. of the frog splash to move on in the tournament. Oh, and a kick out by Miguel. The wings on Angels tights were for a moment very real as he flew through the air, but it was not enough to keep Trey Miguel down. And now Allen Angels trying to find out how to put away Trey Miguel. Once again, going for that clubbing blow. Oh, there's that kick. There's the, the boot. Lightning spiral onto the neck. Here's the cover. Miguel's moving on to the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Trey Miguel. Excellent effort by Allen Angels, but ultimately it's Trey Miguel. Bracket here in the X Division Championship Tournament. Trey Miguel moves on. He'll face the winner of King versus Bailey, which happens next week on Access TV. Black Tarus is already advanced against Laredo Kid. Uemura versus PJ Black happens next week on BTI. We're off to quite a start here in the X Division Championship Tournament. It all culminates at Overdrive.